Effects of Human Activities to Earth's Land and Water Erosion of Soil People cut down trees in the forest for their needs. Most often, people do not plant new trees. Too much cutting down of trees results to forest denudation. When people do not plant new trees, floods can occur when heavy rains come. This is because very few trees are left to hold water underground. Floods can wash away the soil. This is called soil erosion. Soil erosion removes the most important layer of the soil called topsoil. Landslides can also happen since few trees are left to hold the soil together. Landslides can harm people living at the base of the mountain and on its slopes. Soil Pollution Many human activities pollute the soil. Pollution harms the productivity of the soil. People throw garbage and wastes improperly. Garbage destroys the fertility of the topsoil. Plants cannot grow on soil covered with garbage. Overuse of fertilizers and pesticides by farmers to increase the harvests destroys the quality of soil. Rice fields and other agricultural lands are converted into residential and commercial areas. Some people convert farmlands into livestock and poultry farms to meet the needs of multinational companies. This practice can make farmlands exposed to agents of soil erosion. Water Pollution Our water is becoming dirty. Dirty water is polluted water. Why is water dirty now? Let us find out. Seas, rivers, and lakes are homes of many fishes. These bodies of water become dirty when people throw garbage and human waste into them. Some people wash clothes in rivers and lakes. They use detergents and leaching materials that contain chemicals that pollute rivers. When water becomes polluted, fish and water plants will die. People cannot use the water anymore. Polluted water can also cause diseases. What are the proper ways of disposing garbage? Some people bury their garbage under the ground. Others put their garbage in front of their houses for garbage collection. Air Pollution Humans and animals need air in order to live. They need clean air to breathe. If they breathe polluted air, they will get diseases that may lead to death. Polluted air is dirty air. The piles of garbage lying around the streets make the air dirty. Dirty surroundings pollute the air. The odor from dirty canals makes the surrounding air unsafe to breathe too. The black smoke coming from factories pollute the surrounding air. The black smoke contains substances that are poisonous. They can make you sick. The smoke coming from the engines of cars, jeepneys, trucks, and buses pollute the air too. It makes the air harmful and unsafe to breathe. The smoke coming from cigarettes also makes the surrounding air polluted. Nowadays, air pollution is a serious problem, especially in cities. You have to be alert and help prevent air pollution. What can result from pollution? Waterborne diseases. Waterborne diseases spread through contaminated water. Some examples of waterborne diseases are the following. Cholera, dysentery, typhoid fever, and diarrhea. Infection can result not only from drinking but also from swimming in the dirty water. Bacteria can enter the body through broken skin. Always seek medical advice when you are infected by waterborne diseases. Airborne diseases. These diseases are caused by bacteria which get discharged through coughing, sneezing, or through close personal contact. Some examples of these diseases are the common cold and cough, throat infection, 
influenza, chickenpox, and tuberculosis. The risk of getting infected with airborne diseases is high. However, observing simple precautionary methods can prevent the spread of infection. For example, avoid contact with people with the disease or wear a mask that can provide some protection. Covering the mouth while sneezing or coughing can cut down the spreading of infected droplets. Soil-borne diseases. Soil-borne diseases are diseases that are caused by fungal infection which survive in the soil surface. Plant parts that are affected show stunting, wilting, and eventually dying. Care and concern for the earth. We need to protect the earth. It is our home. It has air, water, and land where living things live. We must keep them clean. Here are some ways to care for the earth. Plant more trees. They help prevent the soil from being washed away. They also make the surrounding air fresh and clean. Dispose of your garbage properly. Scattering it on the ground and throwing them into any water form will contribute to air and water pollution. Do not throw trash into bodies of water. Your garbage should be segregated as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Biodegradable is the garbage that decays, like chicken bones, some clothes, and fruit peelings. And non-biodegradable are garbage that does not decay like plastic, glasses, and synthetic rubbers. Biodegradable garbage can be put in compost pits to make natural fertilizer. Non-biodegradable garbage may be reused or recycled. Avoid burning trees. This activity destroys the fertility of the soil. Do not burn solid wastes like paper, plastics, and other materials. The smoke from burning materials pollutes the air and destroys our atmosphere. Avoid excessive cutting down of trees. Forest denudation causes flooding and soil erosions. Save water and electricity. Closing the faucet well and turning off the lights when not in use can help conserve water and electricity.